guys wanted to do something a little different today I was gonna do just a quick little tutorial I'm making a buffalo chicken dip um, I have some friends coming over and it's always a requested every time I go somewhere it's just an easy appetizer and people always request that I bring it like it became like the staple for every Christmas Eve event we went to any party we go to I always bring it so um, I'll just go ahead and show you I've already what you want to do get a pan like this and then get two packages of cream cheese um, these are just uh, eight ounces I think yeah two eight ounce packages and then you're just gonna put them in the pan and let them let them just kind of get soft um, take them out of the fridge let them get soft I would say a couple hours and then you just I just take a little spatula spread it evenly around your pan and a thin layer on the bottom and then um, once you have that spread you're gonna get, I do two boiled chicken breasts, super easy. Pull them apart, shred your chicken. I'll show you. Um, kind of see here, let me see if you can see. So I just start pulling and shredding and spreading that chicken all over the top of the um, cream cheese. And then once you do that, and then after you've spread your chicken out good, um, you're just gonna take Frank's Red Hot Sauce Drizzle it over the top. Ranch dressing, drizzle it over the top. And then I'll show you once I get to that step. All right, so I have the um, Frank's Red Hot. I use, I'm gonna, I kind of eyeball it, but I usually use like half, half of a, um, see how much I have left. I think I have about half of a bottle left. And then I do have a new bottle. Yeah, actually I'm gonna use the whole bottle because I just eyeballed it and it's like not even enough. Um, I'll show it to you. So I just kind of drizzle it over the top, if you can see. Um, I'm gonna still go through and drizzle over here. And then after I do that, I'll, I'll do another um, layer with the ranch dressing. So we'll do that. All right, so I'm gonna finish up my um, drizzling my Frank's Red Hot. It's actually the buffalo, Frank's Buffalo sauce. Make sure you get a good amount, That's the best you can see. Mm -hmm. And then the ranch will do. Also guys, I use two chicken breasts that I shred. I boil them and then I shred them. And I usually have a little, little leftover. Sometimes I'll even make more. And if I have any leftover, you can use it to like, either I'll make chicken salad with it or I'll make, um, like um, I'll put it in the fridge and wrap it up and make, um, not quesadillas, enchiladas. I'm actually making enchiladas this week so all right after you have drizzled let me show you the layers there's your ranch so you did your buffalo dip your ranch and then after that you do um you get i use now some some like my mother-in-law no, let me fix my lighting my mother-in-law this is actually her recipe and she only uses one block of this the pepper jack you can use any pepper jack but the key is the block and then shred it yourself the bag cheese sometimes you know it has that film on it and it just doesn't melt and taste to me as fresh and I, I really feel like that's the key and why everyone loves this dip so much it's just it's really fresh you can taste it um so yeah so I use she uses my, my mother-in-law uses just one whole block I do one whole block see how it looks and sometimes just because I love cheese I'll add in another, like another half of a block um, it's really up to you and how much you like cheese and how cheesy you want it to be. I, sometimes I think I do a little too much and then it's hard to dip it because the cheese hardens, but it's delicious. So let me grade this one second. So I'm, um, grading this cheese up, but I wanted to tell you guys, um, if you don't want it too spicy, I like it really spicy. So I always do the pepper jack. You could use any other kind. You could use like Monterey Jack or, um, maybe mozzarella. I don't know if that would taste good. It probably would taste good. Um, yeah, you could use any kind of cheese. This this one is just a little bit spicier, so. All right. Okay, so I'm just kind of eyeballing my cheese here. I have my grated cheese. I feel like the lighting is a little weird. Okay, so I'm just kind of eyeballing. I do just like a thin, not thin, a thinner layer. Just want it to kind of be even. Um, I only did half a block so far, so I'm just gonna do probably the rest of the block and then maybe another half a block and go in and, um, Add a little bit more just to make it nice and cheesy. 
All right, so I lied. I did not do two blocks. I, um, I only did one, and I'll show you kind of what it looks like. I know I said I was gonna maybe do another one, because I, no I normally do do one and a half to two, but every time I do it, it's like typically, um, you know, like I said earlier, it gets a little bit harder to, when you put the chip in, it breaks because the cheese gets so thick. So I'm gonna try and do what my mother-in-law does and just, um, just do one block, even though I love the cheese. I can always add more later. So what you do, um, we have our dip. We're gonna put some, um, cover it in tin foil and then just pop it in the oven at 350 and give it about 30 minutes. Take it out when it's a little bubbly and then my, our guests should be here, right? I kind of time it 30 minutes before your guests are supposed to arrive because then it takes about 30 minutes to cook. So then by the time they're here, you can pull it out, pull out some chips, you have a nice fresh dip and I'll show you guys the end result when it's done. So here's the finished dip. Here are our guests. <laughs> so they're about to dive in.